Hey guys, this is Taylor with Scott Leroy Marketing, and I'm going to show you how to add your email signature to your KW email. So there are three sites that you're going to need to do this. You're going to want to get logged into your KW email by going to Gmail and entering your full email and password. You can also follow along doing this if you have a regular Gmail that you're going to add this to. You're gonna to wanna to get signed into command and find your design. So I have already created my email signature in design, so I'm just gonna show you how to add that. And then the other site that you're gonna to wanna to pull up is called IMGUR. The first thing that we're going to do after creating our email signature is we are going to download it. So in the upper right hand corner under download. And then for file type, we want to select PNG. And then download. All right, so now we have our attachment down here. Then we're gonna to go to the IMGUR site. The reason that we have you host your email signature on this site is we found that if you do this, your email signature will then appear in your emails regardless of what kind of device you're on. Sometimes when you add the email signature like we're doing now, but do it directly into your settings in Gmail, it will Work if you're on a desktop version, sending emails, creating emails, all of that. But if you're replying or creating an email from your mobile device, the email signature doesn't transfer to that. And so it would appear blank, where if you host it on this site, then it will appear regardless if you're on mobile or desktop. So we're gonna go to that site. And then in the upper left-hand corner, select new post. You shouldn't need to create a sign in or anything for this site unless you want to. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the image into the screen. Perfect. Once this is ready, then right down here, you want to download post. Now we have our new image. Next, we're gonna go into our email and into settings. And then towards the bottom, yours will likely look like this. It has signature here, almost at the bottom. And we have no signatures set up yet. So we are going to create new and name it. Next, you'll find this icon to insert image and then upload. And then we're gonna take that download for IMGUR and drag and drop that. And then change our size to whichever we prefer. And then for the last part, right under that section will be your defaults. You want to make sure to change these so that when you start creating new emails or replying or forwarding emails, you're actually defaulting to have your signature shown. 
Otherwise, if these are both still off, you will have set it up, but it won't actually be there. And then save changes. And now when you compose, your email signature will show up.